My name is Nikolai Badanov. The day after the Germans attacked the Soviet Union, I left my wife and newborn son in the care of my parents and joined the Red Army. Having been a mechanic in Leningrad for years, it was no surprise I was assigned to the 24th Tank Corps. I live for the day we grind Berlin beneath our tracks. Perhaps it's this aggressiveness that won me my own tank crew and assignment in Stalingrad. While my crew and I are like family, there's another comrade who I'll be tied to forever. Her name is Tanya Pavlovna, and she saved our skins as we escaped in the last surviving T-34 after an assault on an old factory near Volgograd. But our tank soon had engine trouble, and the smoke plume was giving away our position. So we found what looked to be a safe place to make repairs. Engine trouble? Tanya, you and Alexander find some high ground and watch for the enemy. We'll do what we can, Nikolai. And Fyodor, let's get that tank fixed now. Yes, sir. Boys and girls, welcome back to Call of Duty Finest Hour. I didn't think we would be playing as the tanker. Do I have a secondary? Oh, we do. Oh, it's kind of horrible. Oh, it's kind of really bad. Oh my god. Oh, the dinner plate is letting me down. This thing is horrible. Um, do I go prone? Does that fix it? I mean, like, in theory, I guess. I still think this kind of sucks. So, like, is there a... There has to be, right? There has to be a tank mission in this game. Like, we literally have the tank. So, after we do this little defense section, is there a tank battle? Because I see that guy that just rolled into the battlefield. She's fine, bro. That entire sequence was kind of slow. Ooh, friendly tank. Did we get in? Do I get in? I'm trying. I really am. Get in the tank. I don't know where you want me to go to get in. How do I get in? Ah, tank mission. Ooh, the game hates this. Is there a third person mode or am I destined to be? I think I'm destined to be stuck in first person mode. Oh my God, this is painful. 
I hit that button. Oh, this is goofy. What in the hell is this aiming? Bro, it's not even where I aim. <laughs> oh, this is so goofy. Hold on, we gotta go back. I'm probably gonna die. At least we regen, I think. Unfortunately, oh, I'm getting shot in the back by a tank. I would love to use the third person mode. It just it's it's bad. It's not easy to control. Uh, so I think I have to keep moving because that seems to be like an infinitely spawning clown closet. God, where does it want me to go? Why is this so bad? Like, it's the same controls as every other tank driving mission I've done in a COD game, but like, it's just... It's bad, it feels horrible. Like, to their credit, I guess this was like the first one, so maybe like they worked out the kinks and made it more fluent, but... Fluid, rather, not fluent, but like this is. This is icky. I'm, I'm trying, bro. I really am. We're, we're getting there eventually. our headquarters yeah I can see them just spawning in all right let's just get closer if we can If the assault's repelled, tell these idiots to get away from me. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of this thing, dude. This is this is goofy. This tank is goofy mode. Ah, Lieutenant, follow me. You have a gun that isn't this one. Lieutenant, the situation is grave. We've been holding back the German advance with the Katyusha rockets. However, our forward observer's radio has stopped working, and we are no longer receiving firing coordinates. Their last report said the fascists were massing armor and preparing to overrun the headquarters. The observers are in the train station tower on the other side of Red Square. Take a replacement radio and get it over to that tower before the Germans make their next move. Dismissed.
This is a pickup radio. I bet. Wounded soldier coming. Good. Set him down here. Hey, look the That's a goofy animation, but alright, let's go. Damn, we squeaked that thing into this parking space. 